day. For today's lesson, we will discuss about the developmental stages of middle and late adolescence. Before we start, let us discuss first the objectives of this lesson. Classify various developmental tasks according to developmental stage. Evaluate your development in comparison with persons of the same age. And to become a responsible adolescent prepared for adult life. The study of human developmental stages is essential to understanding how a person learns, mature, and adapt. Because throughout our lives, lahat tayo ay may pinagdaan ng pagbabago sa ating buhay. According to Joshua Liebman, maturity is achieved when a person postpones immediate pleasure for long-term values. Kasabay ng pagbabago ng ating mga panlabas na itsura o yung tinatawag na physical appearance ay may pagbabago rin sa ating mga personalidad. So now, let us talk about the stages of human development. The first stage is prenatal or the conception to birth. Infancy or babyhood. It is 0 to 2 years of age. At this stage, a human learns how to draw attention from the people around them. Early childhood, 3 to 6 years old. Personality starts to reinforce self-concept. Late childhood, 7 to 13 years old. The stage where humans get too involved in getting approval. Adolescence or the so-called puberty. It starts with 13 years of age up to 18 years. It is the transition from childhood to adulthood. At this stage, rapid physical development occur, resulting to changes in ways of feeling, thinking, and acting. Early adulthood, 18 to 40 years, or yung tinatawag na setting down age. It is the age of adjustments to new pattern of life and roles, such as being a parent, spouse, or a breadwinner. Middle age, 40 years to retirement. It is a transition age when adjustments to initial physical and mental decline are experienced. Old age or the retirement to death. It is also called as the senescent stage. It is the retirement age when increasingly rapid physical and mental decline are experienced. This is when physiological and psychological changes lead to poor adjustments and unhappiness. From the different stages that we discussed a while ago, we can assert that development is continuous throughout the entire lifespan, occurring in stages where individuals move from one stage to another. By means of successful resolution of problems, or performance of developmental task. Now let us talk about the biopsychosocial model of development. Wherein the developmental tasks at each stage are influenced by the individual's biology, his psychology, and sociology. Infancy and early childhood. Middle Childhood Adolescence Early Adulthood Middle Adulthood And Later Maturity 
To accomplish the developmental tasks that we discuss, you need the guidance of your parents, guardians, siblings, or other people. Do not be reluctant to seek for advice or support from your parents or guardians, especially when you encounter confusion and dilemmas. So now that you are able to assess yourself, let us talk about what are the tools or what are the ways on how you are going to cope with this transition in your life. I believe there are lots of things going on in your life as an adolescent. The demands and expectations of your parents, of your teachers, and other people around you can also be so stressful. And yes, it is not easy to be a teenager. But the good news is, you can treat those difficulties as challenges that will make your life exciting. And as we end our lesson for today, here are some simple rules which may help you become a responsible adolescent. First is, focus on your studies and do well in all your and divorce. Always remember that there is time for everything. Alam ko po na hindi ganun kadali ang ginagawa niya ngayon, which is the online classes. But I believe that if we cope with this new normal, wala pong masasayang na panahon. Take care of your health and hygiene. Huwag po laging magpuyat. Lagi nating isipin that health is wealth. Establish good communication and relation with your parents and guardians. Listen to them. This may be easier said than done at this stage of your life, but they are the ones you can lean on, especially at this time of trouble. Think a lot before doing something. Practice self-control and self-discipline. Always evaluate probable consequences before doing anything. Choose to do the right thing. There are plenty of situations in which it is always better to use your mind than your heart. Do your best to resist temptations, bad acts, and earthly pleasures. Commit to being a responsible adolescent. Respect yourself. You are an adult in the making. Because if you respect yourself, others will respect you too. Do not let your teenage hormones get you. Be prepared to be accountable for all of your actions and behaviors. It is part of growing up and becoming an adult. So my dear personal development students, you are now in transition from high school to college, from adolescent to young adult. I want to ask you now a question. Do you think you are ready for this transition? I hope you learned something today and I'm looking forward to see you on our next lesson.